Hello everyone, this is Rohit Shankar Mane and today our presentation is on Isolation and Analysis of Fungal Endophytic Communities from Bombay, Siva, Western Ghats of Karnataka, India. This research is done by me under the supervision and guidance of Prof. A.B. Vedamurthy, Department of Microbiology and Biotechnology, Karnataka University, Vidharwad, Karnataka. The overview of and presentation is like introduction, materials and methods, photography, discussion, Conclusion and References Introduction World Health Organization estimates that 30% deaths uh, occur due to multidrug resistant microorganisms in 2017. According to that, there is a need of immediate actions, immediate epiology of the resistant pathogens, mechanisms of resistance and treatment available. So how we can overcome this problem? So we can overcome this problem by going or by purifying the biotic compounds from plants and microbes. As far as microbes are concerned, fungal endophytes are in the race nowadays. Fungal endophyte first described by the scientist D. Barry in 1866 from the plants. Then that existence of fungal endophytes described by the Carols in 1986 and the Petrini supported the work of D. Barry and Carols in 1991. At a glance, an endophytic fungi is an endosymbiont that lives within a plant for at least part of its life cycle without causing apparent diseases. There are different types of sources for the isolation of fungal endophytes such as medicinal plants, mangroves, seaweeds, etc. And nowadays in the market, Taxol is one of the important drug which is anti-cancerous in nature, isolated from the fungal endophytes that is taxomyces. Materials and methods. First, selection of plant and its samples, surface sterilization of explants, preparation of sterilized media plates, implanting of surface sterilized explants on sterilized media plates, incubation at 25 degrees Celsius for 15 days, observation of fungal endophytes, statistical analysis. Results. Now we can see the results. Now, figure first is the selection and collection of Bombay Sipa plant from Karwar Western Ghats of Karnataka, India. First is the herbarium, second is the leaf, C root, and D is the flower and fruit explants of Bombay Siba. Now this is the surface sterilization of explants of Bombay Siba. Cutting of samples followed by washing with distilled water 5 5 minutes, sterilizing with 70% ethanol 16 seconds, washing with distilled water for 1 minute, sterilizing with 10% sodium hypochlorite for 120 seconds. Washing with distilled water for 1 minute, drying of samples under laminar airflow, inoculation on Podardrix to Zagar media. After inoculation, incubation is done. After incubation, the fungal endophytes were isolated on the Podardrix to Zagar media. So, plate A is nothing but the fungal endophytic communities from leaves, explants, or bombexiba. And B is nothing but the fungal endophytic communities from roots of bombexiba. Now this photography is regarding to the endophytic fungi present inside the plant plants, especially in the xylem and phloem. Now A, B, C. These three pictures are showing endophytic fungi present inside the plants in the different bodies. In statistical analysis, we can see first diagram where the leaves 45%. Flowers 23%, roots 14% and stem 18%. These are, this is the isolation number of fungal endophytes. It indicates that 45% of fungal endophytes were isolated from leaves and lowest number is from roots that is 14%. From these four parts of Bombexiba, Deuteromycetes, Hygomycetes, Ascomycetes and Basidomycetes were isolated. Discussion. Present research was conducted with a view to isolate and analyze the fungal endophytic communities from leaves, flowers, stem and roots of Bombexiba, collected from Western Ghats of Karnataka, India. After 15 days of incubation, 126 pieces showed endophytic growth, where 25 pieces showed actinomycetes growth and 40 pieces showed no any growth. A total of 126 fungal endophytes were isolated from 190 explants of Bombexiba at the rate of isolation frequency 16%, 10%, 6%, 4% respectively. 
The fungal endophytic communities were high in number that is Formacy species, Cladosporian species, Aspergillus species, Trichoderma species, Pestaliopsis species, Rhizopsis species and Curularia species. Based on the morphological and microscopic characteristics, these isolates were regarding with the Euteromycetes, Ascomycetes, Hygomycetes and Basidiomycetes at the rate of isolation frequencies 19%, 55%, 9% and 19% respectively discussion and then conclusion the existence of unusual and minor species of fungal endophytes is usually comparative to the concentration of test group procedures and the locations chosen rather than swarm itself our outcomes are powerfully signposts that sampling methods were satisfactory and systematic for rare species recovery our research demonstrated that leaves flower stems and roots of a mexiba from the sadashugad wood carver uttar karnataka district western ghats of karnataka india has the potential to be an excellent source of endophytic fungi our results indicate that these isolated endophytic fungi supports to the biodiversity because this is the first report of bombyxiba from endophytic communities from selected site one can aim and select above said area for fungal endophytic research and reveal any community for biotic compounds production in the view of medicinal application these are the some references if you have any questions please personally message me or mail me Thank you